just explain to me what what prompted that and why you know why you believe this sort of negative energy was coming from Beyonce and just just talk about that a little bit so we can understand that. Um. Well, I I definitely did that to definitely be so clear to cut the cord that I don't want to have anything to do with this person at all. I don't want to work with them. Um, I'm even embarrassed that I have worked with them because uh, it's literally shattered everything that I've tried to build after doing that work uh, in my life. Um, so I'm, if, if I have I always said when I was a kid, I, I never would want to regret anything, but this I regret. I regret that we ever worked together because it's turned my life completely upside down. Um, she's not been able to let me go. She's not been able to let me progress um, into a mature woman and work with other people, build other great uh, entities and statues and trophies um, that develop in the arts world and music. Um, she's she's just been a savage, um, stealing my intellectual property, stealing my ideas. Uh, just basically doing anything and everything to damage any type of happiness that I could have had um, up to current. Um, that be in my own independent career, establishing my own company, my own music, uh, relationships, uh, whether it be business partnerships, uh, you know, personal relationships. Uh, so I've had to do a lot of work, uh, a lot of practice of self-love. I know that you know, I was that kid that grew up and always did the right things and always studied really hard and always did a lot for whoever I was working for and the company. And, you know, that time has come and passed over and over again. And it's just been a nightmare to try to move on and do other things for other people without it getting totally destroyed. Um, the other per people I've worked with um, that have been on a plateau have been paid to fire me. Um, I found this out, um, and then it just kept happening. <laughs> so it was like, it was a pattern, you know, uh, you get really excited about something, you build it up, uh, you invest all this time and everything in it. And then, you know, uh, she comes and, and pays people to fire me and I've even re relocated cities and, and houses and apartments and, uh, ways have been found to manipulate that and control that I've lost a huge amount of money, um, dealing with this situation um a lot of money has been stolen from me uh, a lot of rental deposits have been stolen from me had his own personality and stuck his hand out and grabbed my finger you know type of weird crazy shit um excuse my friends i'm going to france soon so i'm just practicing um and so i kept the cat out of guilt out of you know emotional ambiguity you know i drained my bank account on the situation and then I took the cat to the west coast to do a job in San Diego La Jolla and more bipolar activity started happening I was getting abused every time I came home from work and I'm talking about like 12 16 it was a pattern you know uh you get really excited about something you build it up uh you invest all this time and everything in it and then you know uh, she comes and and pays people to fire me and insult me and um it's just been disastrous and, you know, I'm pretty strong, so...